Peaceful Souls. Today I wanted to talk about sort of the merging between brain science and people that are considered sensitives. So I want to approach this from two directions. The first is the ADHD or the ADD um, part of it. The second part is the left-handed part of it. So if you're a lefty, I'm going to cover the lefty part at the end. Any lefties out there, I'd love to hear your feedback. So please, uh, you know, watch the video, tell me what you think, and let me know in the comments. I work with a lot of parents that, uh, you know, connect, that have children who are sensitive. And a lot of these kids are diagnosed with ADD, ADHD. Um, my youngest daughter was in the sort of ADHD spectrum, so to say. And I, you know, kept bringing her from... Uh, from you know specialist to specialist to figure out what was going on with her attention span and oh through that experience and actually through my own experience um you know adhd for me now means attention dialed in to a higher dimension now here's why when someone is a right brain thinker they're more creative and this is right brain thinkers um often have adhd right brain is all about creativity the left brain is all about analytical thinking so if you're a sensitive and you're in a classroom and you're looking you're supposed to look at the board you know maybe you're learning your, your multiplication tables <laughs> so, you know the first 10 we usually start with but you and, and you know not just uh, you can't just see what's what everyone else can see you can also see chakras and auras and spirit energy and you know a 4 to 5d energy which for my daughter appeared as like sparkles of light. She would see outlines around people. She was seeing people's auras from a very young age. And trust me, I brought her from eye doctor to eye doctor as well. And they all said that her eyes were better than 2020. <laughs> so it wasn't a, a physical thing. But if you had to look at the board and, you know, memorize what eight times four was, would you be looking at the board or would you be looking all around the room at all this awesome, cool stuff? You know, sparkles, flashing lights, auras, chakras. Uh, and you pile on top of that if the child doesn't have anybody to help them understand what they're experiencing, then yeah, ADHD fits. And I'm not against medication for ADHD and I'm not against anybody being diagnosed and accepting that um, uh, diagnosis of ADD or ADHD. But I also want to share an idea that encouraging our sensitive children to learn more about their sensitivities and talk to them and ask them why they're distracted. What What is just, you know, and a lot of kids will say, you know, they don't want to say, well, I'm seeing, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing that because, you know, kids learn pretty early what, what's okay to talk about and what's not okay to talk about. When someone has ADHD, a lot of the time it's just, you know, you know, we can get distracted by a butterfly. But ADHD, all, you know, attention dialed into a higher dimension also enhances psychic abilities. It makes you sensitive to every little ripple around you. Not only the 3D realm, but, you know, 4D, 5D, however high your consciousness goes. So you become ultra aware of that. And that, of course, is right brain thinking. So... Now, anybody that ha out there that has, you know, been told they had ADD or ADHD, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Comment below. Now I want to sort of talk about the left-handed aspect. And lefty, you, lefties are unique. We're 10% of the population, and a very small percentage of those are women. Uh, another interesting 40% of astronauts are left-handed. Another important fact is that when sci you know, modern science, uh, traditional science, are doing st brain studies, that they do not, they, they eliminate all the lefties because our brains work different. We don't fit into, you know, if, if we were to fit into their study, we would throw it all off course because our brains work differently. And I am here simply proposing that that is a gift. And it is not something that needs to be saddled with a, a label or shamed for. Um, you know, left-handed people, we process things quicker. We're able to move from task to task much quicker. So someone looking in from outside might perceive that as, geez, they're awful scatterbrained. But uh, left-handed people and people with ADHD 
move through tasks very quickly. <laughs> um, sometimes lefties will have a harder time completing some tasks, but cognitively we're able to shift more easily between topics. We have more um, cognitive flexibility. Um, and another interesting thing is I grew up uh, just outside of Boston where the Puritan culture of the, the pilgrims landing on Plymouth Rock, that was about half an hour from where I lived. The Puritan um, Christian culture was very ingrained. Uh, and I was in, in the early 70s, I was one of the last generations that was allowed to be left handed before, I think it was two years before I got to elementary school, they were smacking kids with rulers that were left-handed. They would beat the left-handedness out of them. <laughs> and I remember in third grade, you know, when we're learning our, um, I can't even think of the name because nobody uses it anymore. Um, oh, uh, Fienta, not, not, oh, geez, I can't think of the name. I don't want to waste any time trying to remember it. Um, you know, the handwriting that, <laughs> you know what I mean, the handwriting that nobody uses anymore. That's harder for left-handed people because all the letters are designed around right-handed people. Um, and I remember being shamed and feeling like I was a weirdo and something was wrong with me. Uh, fortunately, in fifth grade, I had a teacher named Mrs. Lopes, who I still remember and, and love dearly. She worked with me um, and, you know, helped me with my handwriting and you know, didn't shame me or make me feel like I was a weirdo or something was wrong with me or left-handed people are strange, you know, that it, I, you know, it, tur I, it turned it around to, to be something I thought, you know, I was happy about. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Oh, and also the other piece is if you're a left-handed person and there's also a, an extremely high percentage of people that are left-handed that also have water rising signs, particularly cancer moons, which I'm a Cancer Moon, but also Scorpio um, and Pisces also fit into that category. So generally left-handed people often have a strong, strong in their charts, water energy. So where do you fall? And what do you think about all this? I want to hear your thoughts.